Yeah. South Carolina is considered a critical state for the Republicans competing for their party's 2024 presidential nomination. The state holds the first GOP balloting in the South, coming in fourth overall behind Iowa, New Hampshire, and Nevada. It is often seen as a bellwether for the other Southern states that vote as part of the Super Tuesday contests. Republicans in the state often talk about how the road to the White House runs directly through South Carolina. For about two years leading up to an election, South Carolina is typically full of candidates competing for the GOP nomination. The primary itself can also bring a lot of money into the state as candidates and their campaigns essentially decamp there for months at a time. In this cycle, South Carolina also boasts a native candidate, Nikki Haley, who was elected to two terms as South Carolina's governor before serving as United Nations ambassador. And now the politicians, meaning but as she competes for the GOP presidential nomination, Haley is also up against former President Donald Trump in her home state. Trump's win in South Carolina's 2016 GOP presidential primary helped cement his status as his party's pick in that general election. Ever since then, he has remained popular in South Carolina, now boasting some of the state's top elected Republicans as backers of his 2024 bid. Those include current Governor Henry McMaster, who in 2016 was the first statewide elected official in the country to back Trump's first bid. He's also supported by South Carolina Senator Lindsey Graham, who initially ran against Trump in 2016, but has been a supporter of his pretty much ever since. Presidential candidates want to perform well in their home state primaries. But when your home state is South Carolina, that becomes somewhat complicated. It's not only important in the overall GOP nominating calendar, but it's also a state where Donald Trump has maintained high levels of popularity ever since he first served in office. That can present complications for a candidate like Haley when it comes to competing in South Carolina's primary.